Hello everyone and welcome back to our YouTube channel Moratech. I am Varun Moria and in today's video I have an exciting and amazing topic for all of you. As in today's video we are going to talk about the emergency alerts that you are receiving in your smart devices. So this type of emergency alert is working all over the world. So stay in this video till end to learn all about this type of emergency alerts and the logic behind this. So let's start our video. Emergency alert test have become a familiar yet somewhat puzzling aspect of our lives. Government worldwide are orchestrating this test, deploying a myriad of communication methods, from text messages to blaring sirens. But why? Let's delve into the motivation behind this global effort. These tests are not routine disruptions. There is a static effort by government and emergency services to fortify their preparedness for a wide array of crises. Natural disasters, civil emergencies, cyber threats. These drills are designed to recognize, access the effectiveness of communication system in the face of adversity. Emergency alerts come in various forms. Amber alerts for missing person, weather related warnings and many more. Governments are utilizing these tests to fine tune their ability to disseminate critical information rapidly and efficiently ensuring the public stays informed in times of need. Ever wondered how these alerts miraculously reached your device? We will demystify the technology, exploring the role of wireless emergency alert that is WEA, emergency alert system that is EAS, and other cutting edge technologies that form the backbone of these systems. But as with any widespread initiative, there are crises. Some individuals find the frequency of alert disruptive and wonder if we are becoming decentralized to them. We will explore both sides of the debate, acknowledging the necessity of the test with addressing concerns. Emergency preparedness knows no borders. We will examine how countries are engaging in international collaboration, sharing best practices and technological advancement to create a seamless global network of resilience. Your safety is paramount. We will discuss the best practices for responding to different types of emergency alerts, ensuring you stay informed without succumbing to panic during critical moments. Now let's zoom in on India as an example. In recent years, India has significantly enhanced its emergency alert capabilities. The government employs a multi-channel approach, utilizing text messages, television broadcast, and mobile apps to disseminate crucial information during emergencies. For instance, during the monsoon season, alerts about potential flood and landslides are commonplace. These efforts highlight the nation's commitment to ensuring the safety and well-being of its citizen. As the technology marches forward to do emergency alert systems, what does the future hold? We will hear from experts on potential development and innovations in the world of emergency communication, ensuring that we are always one step ahead. So let me share you some facts about these emergency alert tests. Global trend. Emergency alert tests are not isolated to a particular region or country. They are a global phenomena with countries around the world conducting regular tests to ensure their emergency communication systems are operational. Frequency. The frequency of these tests varies from country to country, with some countries conducting these quarterly, monthly or even more frequently depending on the local emergency management protocols. Diverse communication channels. Emergency alerts are transmitted through various channels, including text messages, siren, television broadcast, radio, and increasingly through smartphones apps. So what's the reason behind these tests? Natural disasters. The increase in frequency can be attributed in part to the rise in natural disasters globally. Governments aim to strengthen their alert system to efficiently respond to events like hurricanes, earthquake, flood, and wildfires. Man-made threats. Beyond natural disasters, emergency alert tests also prepared populations for potential man-made threats such as industrial accidents, terrorist attacks, or cyber threats. Technological advancement. Advance in technology has led to the integration of more sophisticated alert systems, ensuring that emergency messages can reach people quickly and accurately. Now let's talk about India's emergency alert system. Mobile alert system. India 
For instance, has implemented a mobile alert system that sends over geographical ta targeted alerts to people in specific area affected by emergency. Cyclone warnings. Even India vulnerability to cyclone, the government often issue alerts well in advance, allowing residents to evacuate and take necessary precautions. Integration with social media. Some countries, including India, have integrated emergency alerts with social media platforms to reach a broader audience and provide real-time updates during crises. Now some criticisms and concern. Desensitizations. Critics argue that frequent tests may lead to desensitizations where people become less responsive to alerts due to their regular occurrence. False alarms. There have been instances of false alarms causing panic. Impairing the need for refining alert system to avoid unnecessary distress. Some international collaborations. Sharing best practices. Countries are increasingly collaborating to share best practices in emergency management, facilitating the development of more effective and standardized alert system. Common protocols. The adoption of common protocols and standard allows for seamless communication during cross-border emergencies. What about the future development? AI and predictive analysis. The future of emergency alert might involve the integration of artificial intelligence and predictive analytics, enabling more accurate and timely prediction of potential threats. Smart cities. With the rise of smart cities initiatives, emergency alert systems are likely to become more integrated, provide a holistic approach to disaster management. Some important tips for my viewers how to respond. Stay informed. To stay informed about the emergency alert system in their region and understand the various types of alerts through internet. Have an emergency plan. To have a family emergency plan in place, including evacuation route and communication strategies. Use reliable sources. Emphasize the importance of relying on official source for information during emergencies to avoid spreading misinformation. The surge in emergency alert test is a global effort to ensure our collective safety. From technological advancement to international collaborations, these tests are crucial important of component of our preparedness for an unpredictable world. Remember, staying informed and being prepared can make all the difference. I am Varun Moria from Moritech signing off. If you found this video informative and valuable, don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more insights. Until next time, stay safe and stay vigilant.